Nigerians may vote another retired general as president of Nigeria. The biggest topic on the lips of many politicians political observers in the country today is undoubtedly the 2023 general election as the torch awaited political calendar year in fast approaching many on the ground permutation have been going on among stakeholders and political parties numerous analysts as well as political think tanks have predicted that the this election in Nigeria will be quite unique from other previous head ones, with the numerous issues plodding the country existence at the moment, political parties as well as the electorates themselves will be blocking out for candidates who will solve this country's backlog of issues. In many other countries of the world, 2023 might be another regular year, but to the average Nigerians, voters 2023 will be the year that they will exercise the powers vested in them by the constitution to choose new leaders. Voters might shockingly opt to the vote for qualification rather than a person who isn't qualified but is being pursued by party interests. Why Nigerians may likely vote a retired general as president in 2023? There are numerous issues that is affecting the socioeconomic of affairs of this country today. These issues are caused by one super problem: insecurity. Nigeria is currently experiencing its highest level of insecurity since the end of the civil war in 1970. Over the past few years, these have been situated spontaneous attacks on citizens by the enemies of democratic and prosperities in 2023 electorates will be looking out for candidates with strong background in law enforcement or any other security related field the need for candidates who have a military background and can effectively provide solution to the security problems will play a key role in determining the next occupant of the presidential villa Another fact that, factor that may influence the decision of the electorate in 2023 is the good track record of many retired generals. Currently, President Muhammadu Buhari have done tremendously well in the fight against the terror. The president used his experience as a former general to tactically reduce the strength of the terrorists. Hmm. And there have been various reports that insurgents are surrendering to the military in droves. Buhari's performance may encourage the voters to re-elect another retired general as the, presi as the president in 2023. Since the start of the war against insurgency, several retired generals like two former chiefs of army staff Azubuike Ihejirika and Toku Brutai have both proven to be experts on security matters. This is the kind of reason that many voters will be looking out for as they had the polls in 2023 unlike in the past when military officers took resume power with the barrel of a gun it is fit to say that the general of today have found a way of gaining the trust of the people with their exceptional professionalism during their service to the nation <laughs> oh goodness when i read this thing i laughed when this person was like Buhari tactically reduced <laughs> oh goodness has tactically resumed insurgents i just like cited and i was like hmm because i just couldn't laugh because i don't really understand what this person is talking about at all you said Buhari has tactically done what Instead, Buhari has increased the level of insecurity in the country, and you are talking about him reducing it because of his experience. <laughs> his experience as a former general to the uh, to was well, tactically reduced the strength of the terrorists, and there have been various reports that insurgents are surrendering to the military in droves. Just imagine that, and I that does this person really know what he's saying? Can you compare the level of insecurity in 2015 and that is happening now? Can you compare them both together? So, what are you saying? 
Buhari has not tactically reduced anything like he said. Instead, he has tactically increased it. That is what he should have said. Well, let's go to conversation and hear people's take on this. Someone here is saying he's campaigning for his brother. Who told you that there would be election in Nigeria comes 2023? Hmm. They said the person who wrote this article is an imbecile <laughs> i just can't disagree with this this is indeed a true what i must say and when they are talking about a um, replacer is this someone like toko brutai that you're supposed to be even mentioning brutai has ruined the lives of so many military men in this country and you're here talking about brutai oh we voted that one in Nigeria will never vote any rascal to power again. I don't think any coup will work also. Who has the who has the president impressed as a retired general? <laughs> the war with Boko Haram would have ended if not for most of the officers making bees from the banditry. Oh thunder strike fire anybody, okay? Discussing 2023, why people are dying every day and the useless government are not doing anything to stop it. Exactly. They are all here fighting about 2023, who will go and who will not. And people are busy dying on a daily basis. The same people who they are talking about voting them into power in 2023 are busy dying. So when all of them are dead, is it their bones that will come and vote for them? I don't really understand these people at all. General not required. Let civilians start grooming. Otherwise, we will relapse into military democracy. Hmm. Insurgency was sustained by Fulani politicians not knowing the aftermath will be on them. The military we are the military we are grooming today are the ones who are killing us on a daily basis just imagine that garbage their non-performance we need a civilian who we leave the military to use their expertise without dictation as to what to do the insurgency is minor and had full any headers allow governors to deal with it decisively wait and see result of certain governor's ban of headers if not interfered with the by the presido hmm. okay i agree with that though but i don't know how this whole thing is going to end at last though hmm. because i don't really know it's going to take this easy at all with all those southern governors who placed ban on open grazing okay fine since they have placed ban on open grazing and some snitch had gone to buhari's villa and collected money for collected money for Swino and went back to do what to tell their people after leaking it that they are no longer interested with their eyes closed without even seeing the faces of the people they are talking to so tell me who is deceiving who they are talking about we fighting for ourselves here these ones are talking about 2023 election 2023 election my food you're going to come and share your take on this article